what's up guys mr free coiner coming back to you again today hope everyone's doing well and you're taking care of yourselves now before i get started here i do want to say i am not a financial advisor i'm simply sharing my thoughts and opinions so please only take anything i say as that so as we see here xrp is still sitting at 26 cents haven't done a whole lot the whole market is pretty quiet um all in all guys this year has has really been uh i don't know if you can say necessarily say disappointing as far as the price yeah a lot of uh, improvements as far as uh, adoption and usage when speaking about xrp a lot has happened in that way but all in all guys um we're just gonna have to get i think into 2020 before we really see anything um and and even that could be uh, a bust i mean you just never know never never know however like i said we did see a lot go on in 2019 there's been a lot of an uh, adoption a lot of companies uh, coming on to uh, uh, blockchain a lot of announcements happening a lot of attention going towards the crypto space um it just really it almost seems to me it's like a build up for possibly for next year i mean even possibly even before the end of the year I, you never know but uh all in all we are just gonna have to wait and be patient um i think the manipulation that has happened uh was primarily to keep the price as low as possible as far as xrp is concerned um until i think until certain uh pieces are in place uh what pieces <laughs> those are i mean we're seeing them i think what has been announced uh, was part of it and most likely most probably other things that we are not aware of just yet so the wait continues guys uh, just remember don't get too wrapped up in this just don't don't get caught up with uh stuff that's going on with like sold xrp and all of that crap just don't get caught up in that because um it, it causes in my opinion just undue stress undue uh, uh doubt or you know just negative things overall i know most of you don't care what's happening you're still buying xrp and that is absolutely great uh, but there are some out there who are taking a lot of the stuff to heart and those are who i'm talking to uh, so just make sure if, if it's getting to you step back look at something else there's a there are a ton of things that you can look at just set your investment aside and let it be xrp is going to take off it's just going to take a little while okay so let's go ahead and uh, get into a couple things that I uh, really came across, found pretty interesting. Um, one here, Ripple Executive re reveals $500 million strategy to bring XRP and crypto into the mainstream. If I'm not mistaken, um, this is this has to do with what the money that Ripple invested, which was half a, million, half a billion dollars, um, into uh, XSpring or Spring, however they say it. Um, the developers coming in hard and heavy. I think uh, we're going to see, especially in 2020, we're going to see some huge jumps and leaps in uh, in in things that are all <laughs> you know all XRP uh, using the uh, XRPL. Uh, I'm I'm really excited to see what happens over the next year, uh, you know, in 2020, and just all of that, guys. I I think this is something that's going to be very well worth waiting for if we happen to see uh you know a dollar or more by the end of this end of this year that's great just remember xrp is going higher than that however don't forget to take profits that's one thing that a lot of us don't do because we're um so dead set on seeing this specific price thousand dollars whatever remember it may or may not happen within a short time frame 
if you don't take profits and you know the price hits say five dollars and then drops back down to 50 cents you're really gonna hate it okay now some of you if you don't need it again set it aside let it do its thing but a lot of us out here we you know we may need to take some profits and then psychologically it does help uh it it, it helps it helps this road that we are uh we're on so anyway again i am not a, a, a an advisor a financial advisor by any means so guys you make your own decisions okay so moving on analysts expect xrp to shoot up or get crushed by the bear uh I mean, what can I say about this? This is, you know, going back to the chart thing. I just, I don't put a whole lot of stock into it. Um, we, nobody knows. Uh, the, 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 the TA guys can't tell anything. Uh, YouTubers don't know a damn thing at all. We are out here just essentially holding up a sign and, and just putting our thoughts out there. That's all I'm doing. And I'm going to continue to do that. As long as I feel as though, you know, I have something to, to share or, you know, something to uh, uh, that that will help the community, because I think um, at the very least, most of us YouTubers, YouTubers are here just to help. And I, I know for myself, that's the reason I started my channel. I just got in here. I felt like, hey, there's some something I can do, something I can say to help people uh, stay aboard, hey, I'm gonna do that. All right, <clears throat> so getting into some more, uh, uh, how should I say it? <laughs> some other deeper news. Okay, Ripple CTO David Schwartz down for maintenance. Rumors abound. This is pretty interesting right here. Peaking the interest of their nearly 1 million followers, blockchain payments company Ripple announced in a tweet Saturday that their chief technology officer, David Schwartz, would soon be down for maintenance for approximately two days. And the actual tweet says, our CTO, David Schwartz, will be down for maintenance beginning Monday, 11:18 at 12 a.m. We hope to have his functions fully restored by late Tuesday night. Thank you for your cooperation and understanding during this routine maintenance now honestly this could very well just be that they're forcing him to take some time off david has been hard at it he's been you know on top of all of this and, and very very active especially on twitter so a lot of times people like like him from what i've seen uh, they get a little wrapped up with work and sometimes people that care about them make them take time off so that that very well could be the case and if that is then i'm sure he is more than deserving um so anyway who knows if there if it's anything beyond that who knows we don't have to wait long to find out exactly i'm sure so uh let's kind of keep the i think keep the rumors uh you know within reason all right moving on SBI. Now, this is, uh, I do believe this is um, Alex Cobb's site, if I'm not mistaken. By the way, um, this article actually was uh, released September 5th of 2019. Now, I'm, there's a reason why I'm talking about this. I'm sure you guys already know. But anyways, SB, SBI CEO, we will use the virtual currency XRP for remittance. Why is this important? Because there has been this article that's been out, and it's uh, the article itself. I don't know so much if it's if I would consider it FUD, okay? Because they do state something accurate, you know, for the most part. However, the title is a bit fuddish. SBI Ripple Asia, Asia's new payment corridor won't use XRP. They just failed to put yet um let's see where was it uh uh you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and run it because I, I cannot i'm sure i'm seeing it i'm um, just going right over it. but anyway i'll go ahead and read it in the announcement it's mentioned how this new payment corridor 
corridor will make use of distributed ledger technology uh, and is another step forward for Ripple. Unlike what some people may have expected, this does not include the use of XRP or Ripple's on-demand liquidity at this time. There it is. Yeah, so they are saying at this time, at this time. So, you know, it's that's pretty important. Important. They're not saying it won't be used at all. It's just right now, not yet. And I do believe uh, it was stated somewhere that it would be in 20. They, they said it would be in 2020. So just again, we got to wait. <laughs> we have to wait. And during this waiting period, we have to be patient. OK, we have to um, just, you know, take it all in stride. It's going to happen. Uh, the the you know moon and all of that I think without a doubt it's going to happen um, there's a lot going on yes the price is being sub uh, um, suppressed uh, but Ripple I believe wholeheartedly they need us as much as we need them uh, you know like I said in my last video I'm more than sure the last thing they want is for all retail to exit Ripple, or rather XRP, okay? Um, that would cause, I think, a lot of uh, problems because, you know, like I said, even half, even if we all sold, all, if all retail sold half of their uh, investment, we're looking somewhere around two and, two and a half to possibly three billion XRP going back um, into circulation just being put back out there, that would be bad for the price. That would be very bad. Um, you know, with this uh, sudden group of people saying that they're selling XRP, to be honest with you, I only believe probably about uh, maybe 40% of them, okay? Because uh, some of it w was just people saying, oh, we're going to say that uh, we're selling because we're fooling the powers that be. Believe me, guys, nobody's fooling anybody. Uh, these people have their <laughs> they have their game uh, very tight. They know what's going on. They got the numbers. They got the data. Uh, they have all the reports. They know how many retail people are out there. OK, so uh, just, you know, forget about that. Uh, just stay with it. It'll it's coming um, no matter how bad it seems right now i'm more than sure we will be happy uh, very happy probably sooner than we think now i know myself i've been a bit uh, less bullish sounding probably but my purpose in doing that was really um to kind of take that moon edge off okay not that it's a really bad thing it is just that we need to temper that type of stuff because again this is a this is a wait like I said Brad Garlinghouse said this is a marathon we had um, even a uh, uh, David Schwartz who de-risked they were preparing I mean well at least I think uh, David was preparing for what was gonna happen okay so you know, we need to always keep our eyes on things like that, guys. Now you see how uh, David Schwartz has been acting a lot. I mean, he's constantly putting these tweets out. Some people are saying that it has a deeper meaning. Uh, myself, I don't get I don't go go in for that gematria stuff so much. But hey, either way, uh, the activity that he has uh, uh, been exhibiting there kind of tells me that good things are coming okay uh, but at the same time make sure you you know stay realistic about what's going on don't get your hopes up too soon let's see it happen first that's that's the number one thing let's see it happen anybody coming talking about moon this moon that I mean or even dropping further don't worry about that. Okay. When you see it happen, take advantage of it. 
whatever, you know, wh whichever direction it is. But other than that, all that other stuff doesn't mean a damn thing. It, it, it is just, these are just words. Let's just temper ourselves. All right. This is, this is a, an excellent investment. The future is more than bright for XRP. And we are a part of this. We've been a part of history. Believe me, when, when people look back on what's happening right now, just like when Bitcoin was first created, they're going to look back and, and, and talk about the people that had the foresight to get into XRP, get behind what's going on right now. And that is us, guys. So anyway, just wanted to, again, throw some words out there that will hopefully encourage you guys. Um, and I, I, hey, I really appreciate everyone dropping their comments for whatever reason. I've been, I, I was getting a lot of Russian bots talking about Prism or something like that. I don't know what that was all about, but either way, all of you real people out there dropping uh, comments and questions, I really appreciate it. One person was asking who they were as far as uh, manipulating the price. Most likely. I mean, I'm just going to be completely honest as far as what I think. I do believe it is Ripple themselves and possibly some other entities, but um, we have to look at we have to look at who uh, needs to have the price at this, you know, at this place for whatever they're doing right now. And, and if you think about it, um, it's not like this is. Uh, you know, kind of a um, a negative thing, because I mean, think about it. If Ripple was was really looking to pull some type of scam, they would just pump it and just you know pump it up and dump it just like that. But that's not what they're doing. They're keep you know it's and again, this is my opinion. I am not saying that it is absolute certainty is Ripple. I don't know. This is what I think. But like I said, at the same time, they're keeping the price low, which tells me there's more to come. OK, so again, this is, you know, this is something that we will see as time progresses. Uh, could it be just, you know, just naturally that uh, the volume and, you know, because of the volume, the price is not there? I mean, absolutely. Uh, I think that's very unlikely, as I mentioned before, because there are more people in uh, using XRP or rather that have XRP right now. The companies are actually using XRP. Uh, it makes no sense that in 2018, when there was probably less than half of uh, this type of usage for XRP or with XRP um, as compared to now uh, for the price to be where it is. I mean, it, to me, it doesn't make any sense, but. Hey, you know what? I'm just a guy <laughs> speaking, you know, who I'm not even, you know, a part of. I'm not even a financial person, much less am I a part of Ripple's team. So either way, though, I, I just think that it is not uh, in a negative way to where uh, we're going to lose behind it or that's their necessarily their intention. Now, I kind of believe that part of this is to shake out some of the retail you know, out of XRP, that could very well be the case. But again, we'll see, guys. Everything comes to light when it's time for it to come to light. So, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as a like button and that post notification button so you know when I've posted again. Until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves. And God bless.